what I love about dancing, it is really infinite. As far as street dance goes, it is not only a movement, you know, of rhythm, but it is a lifestyle to me. It is something that I do 24 seven. It is something that I do without even breathing. You know, like, like if I stopped breathing, I would probably still try to do it. You know, <laughs> like if I was on my deathbed, I would still try to dance. So it's literally a part of me. I would say what I would have to do to win is not so much out dance other dancers because I can't do, or I can't do them, you know, just as much as they can't do me. So, you know, a contemporary dancer wouldn't say, well, I'm just gonna out animate soul, you know, or, you know, that's my nickname, or out animate blueprint, you know, because they can't do that. No matter how hard they try, they can't do it. But for the most part, I would have to outperform other people and pretty much outdo where they lack. I honestly think this is one of the few real shows left on TV because it gives people an opportunity to make their dreams come true. And just the fact that it's an all dance show, like nobody has an all dance show, you know, and even though it's not surrounded around street dancers, it still is open for street dancers to enter. So it's open to all styles. My style of dance, um, I would say is animation, which is uh, umbrella style under popping. Um, the reason why I chose it is because it is a perfect vessel for storytelling. Um, you can just about do the style to any type of genre of music. You could, I've animated to rock, to smooth jazz, um, ambient music, birds chirping, you know, you name it. So you can just about do whatever you want with it and it, there's really no bounds, you know, no boundaries at all. To be in the top 20, it is a purpose that I get to have and a responsibility for me to represent for all the street dancers, um, not just for animation, but for the poppers, you know, for people who just do popping, for people who just do house, for people who just do hip hop, um, locking, you name it, you know. So it, it is a perfect opportunity for me to represent what I do as a whole and also where I come from. Um, the culture I represent, and it's, and it's on national TV, so I'm able to inspire tons of people that way through my movements and hope that other people will take on the same, you know, agenda that I took on. The secret to being good at animation, I would have to say, is patience. Lots and lots of patience. Um, think of it as trying to master martial arts styles such as Wing Chun or Drunken Master and Jitsu, you know, um, it, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it doesn't happen two months in time, it doesn't happen four months in time. It literally takes a lot of time and the better your work ethic, the better the results are gonna be. And it's literally just body control. As far as dream, I really wouldn't say a dream more so, it was really just uh, good words of advice, like uh, not, and I don't really mean advice as in like a pep talk, but more so as in like a, a motivation. And with that being said, it was um, my girlfriend, Tammy, shout out to her back home. Um, and of course, my good homie, which is an OG B-boy, B-boy Eddie, which is from Detroit, also shout out to him as well. Um, both of them has really got in my head about getting on this show. And although I was a fan of it, I was still kind of iffy if I wanted to try out or not. But they was like, you know, I really think you could do really great on it. And coming from an older generation of dance, you know, of a dancer, just hearing it from him alone and saying like, yo, this could open up tons of doors of opportunities for you and people need to see you, you know, and just a whole bunch of lives you could change and whatnot. So hearing that from him really, it, it really clicked. And that was really the cherry on top. And of course, hearing it from my own girlfriend was just support. And it was, you know, that's my girl. So of course, I'm gonna listen to her. And she was just like, I think you could really be great on that. And you know, pretty much the same thing. A lot of people need to see you. So just those two alone was really just that motivation that I needed that extra push. So here I am. My strength as a dancer. Hmm. I would have to say um, being able to listen and adapt to music very quickly, uh, which in some aspects people will call that musicality. 
Um, pretty much musicality is making rhythm um, visible or when rhythm meets opportunity or vice versa. And it's pretty much just, say for instance, I never knew a song and I just listened to it right then and there and I could literally predict what was going to happen next. And people watching are just blown away because it's like, it's like I'm watching music happen right now and it's like, how did, did you know the song? It's like, no, I didn't. So I would definitely say that's my strong suit. I have really good musicality than a lot of other people. The three most important things for me when preparing for a routine, um, I would have to say you have to have a plan. You have to know what you have to do, you know, in order to capture your audience. Um, you just have to be really focused in what you're doing. You know, nothing can break that focus of yours. You have to know exactly why you're doing it, you know, and if you're partnered up with somebody, you have to know that they are just as important as you and they have an important role just as you do and you have to carry that off. Um, and thirdly, no matter what it is, whether it's your weakness or your strength, you got to give it 150%, no matter what. And you got to go out there and push till you can't push no more and just hope for the best.